The game is on and suddenly your house is full of hungry people with attitude. I guess that was a good play. It's best to have your own game plan in place for these type of situations because you're going to want to feed this crowd and feed them fast. I'm Tracy Metro here with the Craft Kitchens. Your first play in the game is pure defense. Get the nuts and the chips out there now and make sure you have enough to go around. So next up, I'm going to make something a little more substantial for everyone. I went ahead and melted some Velveeta on top of some nacho chips, and I've topped all of this with extra lean ground beef. And now what I'm going to do is just finish them up. I'm going to put some lettuce on them, and some tomatoes, some black olives, and then top it off with some sour cream. And that should hold them over for a little while, I think. Thanks, hon. You're welcome. Game day, I like to stick with the theme of sports, so I'm using artificial turf as a tablecloth. I think it looks really cute, and it kind of feels like we're on a football field. Believe it or not, these aren't actually napkins. These are dish towels, so they're nice and big to make sure that my cute couches don't get ruined. And it's the same idea using these big platters as plates. That way, everybody can eat right on their laps. When the guys are over, I like to serve a real hearty dish. And what I'm serving today is this double cheese chili. So what makes it double cheese? Well, I'll show you. You put your cheese in the bottom of the dish. Then you put your chili on top of that. And then top it off with some more cheese. And then you can let the guys put on any onion, sour cream, or any hot sauce that they may want. And of course, you'll want to have a platter of great deli sandwiches. Yes, you absolutely can make these yourself at home. So what I've done is I spread some mayo and some parm on some bread. I popped it under the broiler for a few minutes until it turned golden brown. Now I'm going to stack some meat on a microwavable plate, and I'm going to top it with some cheese. Then just pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds or so until the cheese is all melty. Now all I have to do is add my accessories to my sandwich, like tomatoes, lettuce, put the lid of the sandwich on, and cut it in half. Another great sandwich you could make is the Blue and Turkey Cafe Cobb. First what I did is I mixed up a tablespoon of cheese and dressing, spread it on the roll, then topped the sandwich with lettuce, turkey, tomato, bacon, and avocado. And I like to serve this with some blue corn tortilla chips because I like the crunch. If you'd like to get the recipe for these and lots more ideas for game day or for any day, visit Pau Dini. I'm Tracy Metro for the Craft Kitchens. <laughs>